16th of February 2024. Yes, ma'am. Uh, we are now on the 11th of March. Yes, sir. In the In the last 26 days, uh, what extent of matching has been done by you? What what steps have you taken in the last 26 days? The application is absolutely silent on that. We, we can put we can put a detailed affidavit on uh, that one no, because I know it should have been disclosed in the affidavit. I, I agree, man. I agree. Uh, state Bank of India, which is coming coming to us, we expect that there should be a degree of candor on the part of the State Bank of India that this is what the work which we have done. The work is process. The standard operating process we had put in made sure that there was no connection between the date name of the purchaser in our core banking system and the bond number because Manod, we as the bank were supposed were told that this is supposed to be secret kept in a seal cover at the designated branch and all such seal covers were deposited in the main branch of the applicant bank which is located in mumbai yes sir on the other end each political party was required to maintain a designated account in any of the 29 authorized branches. It was only in this account that electoral bonds received by that party could be deposited and redeemed. At the time of redemption, the original bond, the pay-in slip, would be stored in a seal cover and sent to the SBI Mumbai main branch. So what you are saying is that donor details were all sent to the SBI main branch. Redemption Correct. details were all sent to the Mumbai's, uh, the same branch, the SBI central main branch in Mumbai. Yes, sir. Now 12. It can thus be noted that both sets of information were being stored independently of each other. Thus to rematch them would be a task requiring significant amount of effort in order to make available donor information. The date of issue of each bond will have to be checked and matched against the date of purchase by a particular donor. This exercise would only deal with the first silo of information. These bonds were redeemed by political parties in their designated bank accounts. Accordingly, this information would then have to be matched against the bond redemption information that makes up the second silo. It is submitted that the retrieval of information from each silo and the procedure of matching the information of one silo to the other would be a time-consuming exercise. The details are stored separately. Some of the details, such as bonds number, are stored digitally, while the other sets of details, such as name of purchaser, KYC, are stored physically. The purpose of not storing all details digitally was to ensure that it cannot be gathered easily to achieve the object of the scheme. And then finally, para 14. In that regard, it is further submitted that this court has directed for making public the donor information to the date of its interim order, 12th April 19, to the date of the judgment. In that time, 22,217 electoral bonds were used for making donations to various political parties. Redeemed bonds were deposited to Mumbai main branch by the authorized branches at the end of each phase in sealed envelopes. Coupled with the fact that two different information silos existed, this would mean that a total of 44,434 information set would have to be decoded, decoded, compiled, and compared. Now, if you see the directions which we have issued at page 76, Why not? we have not told you to do the matching exercise. We have asked you for a plain disclosure. Therefore, the ground on which you seek an extension of time to make the disclosure does not accord with the directions in the judgment at all. The judgment doesn't tell you to do that. Exactly. No, 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 I'll tell you, I'll tell you what we understand. If that is not so, then of course there's no problem. If your lordship is pleased to turn to uh, Para 221. But then you simply comply with the judgment. Total bond purchase. Now, my lord, when the purchases were happening, we divided the information. The name is kept at one place and the purchase is recorded at another place. But ultimately, everything was sent oh. to the Mumbai Central Main Branch. All issuing branches for the political parties, there are only 24. Actually, there are four. But in so far as the purchasers are concerned, everything has been remitted back to the Mumbai Central. Pretty for any purpose. Now, Manod, we knew this is sensitive information. So, a, a physical procedure was de 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 devised. You sort of did a, a KYC and you kept the name in that. And once that was cleared, then only the bond number was cleared and then the bond number was. Uh, Use for further purchases. The money came to people who didn't know who the money was, uh, who was the real name of the purchaser. They just knew this was a cleared account, so it came into a bond payment account. And from the bond payment account, it was which were shown to us during the course of the hearing. Yes, issues indicate that for every purchase, you have to have a separate KYC. Yes, we have that. So we have that. Therefore, it's very clear that every time somebody made a purchase, a KYC was mandated. That one set of documents, namely the electoral bond application form, 
KYC documents, citizenship documents, and pain. Manav, there is no issue. We have the details. For one Please don't misunderstand me. Therefore, you have the details. No, no, I have the details. I am sorry. I am not saying it's not there. One, one minute, Mr. Salve. Now, paragraph 10, you specifically say that all the purchases details have been kept in a sealed cover. Yes. In the main branch of the applicant bank. Correct, Manav. You just have to simply open up the sealed cover and Manav. collate the names and give the details. Manav, as far as is... paragraph 11 is concerned, then you also you are saying that the Dhoni's details are being kept in a sealed cover, envelope in a sealed cover. Open up the sealed cover. And we have full details of who purchased the bond, but that's put in one silo of information. I have full details of where the money came from, which is in a second silo. And I have a complete detail of which political party tendered how many bonds and who has been paid how much. That's a, that's an easy, easy ask. That can be given straight away. The problem is, Manat, I have to now put the name of the purchaser, which is in the first sealed uh, packet. And these are all physically kept. It, they were not put into the banking system. I'll have to, each form will have to be taken out. The name checked. That name now correlated to the payment detail. And the payment detail correlated to the bond. And finally, that's where the bond number gets generated. And then we can connect as to which political party who has given that money. Okay, now, I was going to ask Mr. But Manod, I have to be correlated with the the purchaser and the uh, political party. Manod, uh, para seventy six does suggest that. Would your lordship just see it for a moment, if you know? Don't go, don't go by what is suggested. Whatever you wanted to speak, just sp uh, spoken in black and white. You are accepting that there is no difficulty in giving names of the donors who purchase the bonds and the amount they purchase the bonds. You have got no difficulty in giving details of the political parties. Who have purchased the particular bonds? The only difficulty is matching the bond, purchase bond with that. But 26 days, you may have, must have carried out at least some, say, 10,000 bonds you have been able to collate. Yes. The ministry has placed that, you know, in a secured, in secured custody with us. We'll direct them to open it here right now because since we were deciding a point of constitutional validity, we didn't consider it necessary either during the course of the hearing on, or, or, or thereafter. We can ask them to open it and we'll ask the Election Commission of India to divulge whatever there is and we'll ask SBI to then divulge what we have asked them to do. Yes, well, we'll, not, we'll do it. We'll send it to before us. Your Lord Lord Lord. Mr. Sharma, whatever has been placed by you before us, in compliance with the judgment, we will direct that to be open right now. And your Lordship directed us to give it to the uh, ECI. So we'll give it to the ECI or your Lordship want us to file it directly in court. I think better through the ECI. Uh, no, you, uh, Mr. Salve, you comply with the order of the court. To give it to the ECI. Whatever ECI has placed in the court. Already. We will direct that to be open. We will ask our court to make a copy of it, a digitized copy for the safekeeping of the court. And then we will return it back to the, the rest. We will re we'll return it back to ECI for them to upload it on their website. But what ECI has already, there is no problem. We will give to the ECI as uh, in the time, if you're not to give us three, mo three months, we'll go and give, give it to the ECI. And they, as, as and when they get it, they can upload it. We want to make sure we get every bond number right, every donor right. Because Manod, this otherwise is going to create, create havoc for today for donors who come and say, this is not my bond. I did not purchase this. You put the wrong number on my bond. I did question not give it to There's no question of that. Once he is given the KYC, he is given the details, you also have the application. The application will be having the no, amount. No, no, I'm sorry, Manat. I, I'm sorry. My concern is he purchased bond number X. I, I by mistake, I put his number as purchasing bond number Y. Now, X may have gone to political party A, Y may have gone to political party B. Why will that happen, Mr. Sir? Because, Manat, I'll tell Manat why. Because he haven't kept the number one bank in the country. We do expect them to be able to handle this. No, no, not expect to be handled. We were told, make sure that this doesn't leak. So, Manat, the way we stored the information, the bond number did not get into the core banking system. If we had been told keep information on this basis, we would have devised our systems accordingly. If we had kept it like that, Manat, any senior bank officer could have found out bond numbers and, and the whole thing would have been out in public domain. Who has how much? All the secrecy. Sorry, about assistant general manager files an affidavit in support of the application to the Supreme Court for modification and order of a constitution bench. So very serious matter when you ask for modification of an order. I, of I accept that. I accept that. An assistant I accept that. general manager have... files an affidavit and tells us that look, I'm finding it difficult. The information is maintained in two silos.